What's up guys? This is the Board Game Roamer and I'm here with an unboxing of a game by River Horse. Uh, it's uh, based on Jim Henson's The Dark Crystal. Um, this game, I, I don't really honestly have a whole lot of details on how it's played, but this this was one of my favorite movies growing up. Uh, Willow, The Dark Crystal, um, awesome, awesome movies, just amazing movies for their time and, and true classics. And so when I saw this, I was like, I got to check it out. So as you can see, I have not even taken the shrink off of it. So let me get that off right quick so we can check out the back. Here. All right. So here are the game components. We have the board, there are heroes it looks like moving around, different cards. Um, it's a two foot by two foot board, uh, world cards, mystic cards, skexis cards, minion cards, several dice, different different dice here, D6, D8, D4, or no, I don't see, yep, D4, D6, D8, D10, D12, D20, yep. So your standard polyhedral dice, Several tokens, boards for different people, good stuff, right? So I'm really excited about this. Let's check it out. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, I don't know if you can, you can really tell that from this, but let's see if I can get it close enough. This is not plastic. Oh, well, I'm sure it's plastic underneath. It's definitely plastic underneath. That's felt. It's like it's legit felt. Holy crap. That's pretty cool, y'all. So we have these boards here. Um, so there's the Skeksis. Ah, Speed Wit Bronze. So that's where the different dice come in. Well, yeah. Because the Skeksil Chamberlain Skeksil Gekun, the Garten Master. So they all have different, they're using different dice for these different uh, stats, basically. Okay, so that makes sense. And then, of course, here are all your dice. Then we've got, ooh, okay. we got some cards here. Let's check those out. See what kind of things we're looking at here. All right, so we have some car crystal, like crystal bats feed on the different things that happen here. And then it looks like there's a pick, it says picketing world space. If Gifflings are the bats attack them with a D8 wit. So I guess, okay, cool. So there's some different die rolling that goes on, how far you roll, how much damage I guess you do. Um, I guess maybe these are people you encounter, maybe? I don't know. That's a, that's a different deck. There's the back to that deck. And here's the back to the first deck. You can't really see that, I'm sorry. All right. Really good art. Uh, so this looks like our hero cards. Oh no, this is not hero cards. These are like special powers for each of the heroes. That's what that is. And then we have, I guess, oh, no. These must be the world. Yeah, these are like locations, murky waters, creeping vines. The Black River, the Cursed Forest, Great Plains, Slave Podlings. Cool. Uh, and these are, again, Test Speed, Test Speed, Test Wits, Test Brawn, etc., etc. And there's the back for those. Really cool stuff here. And then uh, there's some Skexis. Gentlemen, I guess if you want to call them that. Scientist, the ritual master, the gourmand, slave master, the treasurer, the scroll keeper, 
ornamentalists. So I guess those are kind of like, uh, I guess those are kind of like the opposite of these, right? Cool. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put all these back in here in this insert because it would appear that all the actual cards, I mean that the main player board is down in the bottom. Here's some stands for something. Um, don't know exactly what those are for yet, but we will find out. There's some the pieces for some sort of like timer, I guess, which I'm assuming is in the bottom. So let's take this out. All right, so what do we have here? Oh, actually, I think this may already be up. And there is a Labyrinth board game, too. Um, hmm. I have to get that Labyrinth. A lot of people get that game. I mean, that movie, A Lot of Grief. I liked it. So here's the rule book. Shows you uh, test from cards. How everything goes. Where everything goes. Pretty lengthy rule book. Pretty small print. Um... And you basically have legit 21 or so pages, but it's pretty small print. And, uh, I mean, there are some pictures, but there's not a ton of pictures. So you will have to do a little bit of reading, but I can't imagine that it's that, you know. There's a little bit of reading, but it's not like it's, you know, overly difficult. So here's the board, and it is not two-sided. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Let me turn it around the right way. There we go. So there's the board. You can see outline. Oh, it's not quite in there. So there's places that are outlined for cards, it looks like. There's a couple of, that's a square, that's a circle, so I'm assuming that there's some kind of special cards that are going on or something special here. So let's take a quick look at that. Okay, so now I'm confused. Yeah, I'm definitely confused. So here's some punch outs, uh, some sort of tokens here. I'm assuming these things are going to be chasing you. Interestingly enough, I'm like, one of those is missing. But I bet that's what the, um, that's what these things are for. There's four of those. So I'll bet that that's what these are for. It's not stuck to anything. I don't know. To check on that. So we got that. Then we have this. Oh, somehow it made it all the way underneath there. So there's the other. Uh, some more tokens. Some sort of lunar wheel, maybe. Something like that. Uh, yeah, this looks like what we use those uh, connectors for. So, yeah, there you go. Um... That's what it's about. And I don't remember. Yeah. So there, it's really a two to four player because you have one faction versus another. Um, so it's not a co op. Uh, but it's still going to be fun. And we'll probably, uh, I'll still probably do it and then we'll just play both sides. Um, so cool. I will deal with that later. But I do want to show you these minis. These minis are pretty neat. 
Let me just, I'm going to set these out first. Yeah, they have pretty good balance. But, I mean, it's really got some wicked awesome detail. I mean, look at that. So that's that's crazy. If you're a, you were a painter, these would probably be super super fun to paint. And look at that. That's crazy, y'all. Absolutely crazy. Cool, cool beans. So there you go. There is Labyrinth. I just got it. Labyrinth. Listen to me. The Dark Crystal. Uh, Jim Henson's The Dark Crystal. Um, if you uh, have not checked out River Horse Games, go check them out and uh, see what they're offering. Take a look at it, and uh, we'll definitely take a look at it together. Um, again, this, you know, I don't, I, I can't judge the game uh, because I have not played the game. But uh, I will say that, you know, the movie was awesome, and if nothing else, just to support Jim Henson and all the things that he did um, as a puppeteer and just the movies that he made and the things that he did uh, for the community, for the public, um, just to kind of honor him. If nothing else, buy it just for that. Um, if you know somebody that loved that movie, those movies, as a, as a kid, um, grab it give it to them as a gift. Um, uh, they will appreciate it. And if they like to paint, especially with these minis, they'll really appreciate it. So enough of me jibber jabbering. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Uh, thank you for your comments and your likes and your dislikes because as Cat Weasel says, at least it means you're watching. And uh, just appreciate you guys and uh, hanging out with me on the channel. I'm the Board Game Roamer, and I will see you, ladies and gentlemen, in the next video. Bye, guys.